Hello, my name is Ivan. I'm from Frizzlife. And today I'm going to introduce you to the WB99, the countertop uh, water filtration unit. Okay, so I'm going to show you some features of this machine. Uh, for example, we have a removable rear tank, uh, which is sealed. So you don't drip water everywhere. And then we have a front pitcher, which is also removable and easily assembled back. Uh, we have a dip tray. We have an access panel for the two filters that are actually fitted inside the machine. So now I'm going to show you how to fit these filters to the countertop unit. So firstly, we have an access panel on the front, which you remove quite simply. And we have our small square filter unit that slides in on the top. And that's very easy. And then we've got the large re reverse osmosis unit, which at 90 degrees slides in. And then we turn it clockwise firmly into position. To begin filtering water, we need to fill the big tank with water. So well, let's take it off. There's a built-in handle in the lid. So we'll just lift that off and we'll go get some water. Okay, so here we have the tank. The water is up to the maximum line and now we connect it back and we close it. Okay, next we need to plug in the power. It's a bit of a small socket at the rear of the machine. We plug that in. We see the display panel come up and the filter process will begin. Uh, we will need to purge the filter uh, and we'll need to use about three tanks. And now we discard the water for a second time. Remove the pitcher again and pour. Now return and the processing starts again. When the water level in the tank is low, the change water light on the dash panel will be flashing. So that means we need to discard the remaining water in the rear tank. So lift the tank off the machine. There's a little bit of water in, left inside and we get rid of that. So now we'll have to put water back into the desktop unit. So we just open up the, uh, the rear tank and we bring some water and we fill her up. Okay. And the whole process starts again. We we'll need to repeat the process three times to purge the filter. So now that we've finished flushing the system, we can actually start to drink the water from the machine. Uh, on the display, we have some uh, simple indicators. We have the filter life indicators for the, uh, the large and the small filter. We have a pitcher warning filter. So um, uh, if the pitcher's loose, uh, we can actually see that it starts flushing just to make sure that's secure. Uh, we also have a TDS indicator to show the water quality. And we also have uh, some pre-programmed modes for uh, different uh, filling uh, volumes. And also we have, uh, if we switch it all off, uh, we have uh, a free flow mode. So we can just uh, switch the water on and off whenever we want. Uh, we also, when we're filling, um, we can also see that the UV light's coming on, showing that we're actually getting some extra protection from the UV. Now that the process is finished, uh, now we're ready to drink. Remember the pitcher is removable, so we can actually put that into a refrigerator, uh, chill it for friends, uh, or we can just drink uh, straight away. Hey buddy, how you going? On the display, we have the, uh, the filter life indicators. Uh, there are three states. Uh, when it, uh, the indicators are white, that means that the filter is fully uh, usable. Uh, if it's flashing red, then the filter is about to expire within 10% of its life. And then the, uh, finally, if it's uh, a solid red, that means the filter needs replaced. Um, to actually reset the filter life when replacing the filter, hold the two outer dispensing buttons and we'll get into uh, the filter mode and we can actually select which filter we're actually replacing. And then once we've replaced that particular filter, we then just hold the two dispensing buttons again and we're ready to go with a new filter.